Well, there are 20 COVID patients here at Harborview tonight. That number is four times what it was just a few weeks ago. The rising case numbers statewide include medical workers like nurses. Remember back in the spring when each night everyone cheered for the medical workers? They grabbed pots and pans and made so much noise. I will never forget forget the first um, dish pan night in Seattle. It was, I cried outside my front door because there was just so much wrapped into um, the support of the community. Vanessa McCarowitz is a Harborview nurse. Though cases are now much higher than they were back then, the city's noticeably quiet. Where has it gone? I mean, everyone's tired. I mean, everyone's tired of talking about it. Everyone's tired of hearing me talk about it. And people really just want to want to have it be done. If there's any time in the pandemic when healthcare workers need the community to step up, it's now. Staff are getting sick as hospitals fill up. Just one example, 20 caregivers at Providence Regional Medical Center Everett tested positive for COVID this month. And workers in other hospitals and clinics show up knowing there's a chance they could be next. When we talk about this, it's personal. It's not just personal because it's our family, it's because it's our colleagues, it's our nurses, our physicians, our janitors, everybody that we see suffering with this, this disease. Are you worried about what the weeks after Thanksgiving will look like? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would say that um, myself along with my team have been worried about this probably since July. We need everyone to really hunker down. This is like the final push. Their message to everyone tonight is to think of the people working here and at hospitals across the state when making your Thanksgiving plans. Live at Harborview, Ted Land, King 5 News. Ted, thank you.